Hi, Olivia. You know what this means. Good afternoon, everybody. It is time for a boys' night in, or boys' day in. Buddy, how you feeling? He's had a little bit of a rough morning, but that is okay. Um, Olivia needed some time uh, just to go relax. Um, so she is off, I think, to get some coffee or something, maybe knit a little bit. So it is up to me to do what Olivia does every day and make sure that this guy is fully, um, fully cared for and, and nothing hurts him. So it is time for Fletcher and I to have some time to ourselves. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready, buddy? First things first, we're gonna put on some socks. Buddy, your feet are a little cold. <coughs> Olivia told me to put some socks on. And I think that's all I have to do <coughs> over the next hour or so. We've been socked. Good job, buddy. Good job. So he is going on his fourth month. He is about three and a half months. And we have this cool little pad. Month four. It says, lifting his or her head and making movements to roll over our milestones, baby may begin to practice during this month. With baby laying on his or her tummy, looking toward the textured peekaboo flags, slowly lift each flap to reveal the printed image beneath. Practice tummy time for about 40 minutes per day. So that is what we're about to do. You ready, buddy? Let's do that. First things first, let's declutter. Arm up. Flip, 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 flip. No, keep going. Keep going. Arm up. Flip, 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 flip. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. All right. What do we got? Oh. Oh. Hey. What's this one? Oh. Oh. Whoa. One thing we also do is we'll take his favorite toys and just lay them out in front of him. We'll show you what we've got. We've got a plane, a bird, and I think another plane. Yep, another plane. But he'd prefer to read The Hungry Caterpillar. The abridged version. Another thing that Fletcher learned uh, over his third month was how to roll from his front to his back. So he will probably do that for us during this tummy time session. But it's up to him. All right, bud, you're on. Let's do what we practiced. Elbows in, elbows in, elbows in. There you go, go for it. Oh, don't give up, pick your head up. Buddy, don't give up. There you go. Lift your head up. You know what to do. There you go. Good job, buddy. Woohoo. Did a great job. Good job. Good job. Good job. This is another one of his favorite toys. Let's see. Let's see if he'll grab on. He's been grabbing on to things and pulling it towards his mouth a lot. <laughs> there you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. I need you to tell me how well you think Olivia has been doing at taking care of you and being a mother. Really? The scale doesn't go any higher than that, you know? Really? Okay. You spend more time with her. What would you rate me? Oh. Not even the upper half? 
I agree with you on Olivia's rating. One thing that also becomes increasingly more difficult uh, when you have a child, um, especially through the newborn stages, is keeping things clean, not messy. Olivia and I are both fairly clean and organized people, but man, Fletcher, it's a full-time job with you. So let's straighten up a little bit. So this may be a, you know, just a special moment for me just to be the only parent taking care of Fletcher. But this is what Olivia does every single day. Um, so as easy as this might be just in this brief moment of a Saturday, it's Olivia's full-time job and I'm very appreciative of that. Even times like this where we get a little fussy. And I just don't know what to do to get you to stop. Beep, beep, beep. So, through the easy times and the hard times, I'm very thankful for all of it, and I'm very thankful for everything Olivia does. So, he fed a little bit earlier today, um, but I was told that I might have to feed him and what we have, some frozen breast milk. So, I will take the oldest one. There's two and a half ounces. So. Let's see if I can't top him off with two and a half ounces. I'm gonna thaw this out um, and then see if he'll take it. It wasn't a very successful feeding earlier, so that may be why he's fussy. So it's worth a shot. Lola, watch Fletcher, please. Also, while I'm thawing milk, one thing I could try is something that Olivia uses successfully all the time. And I use successfully not very often, so. You know what, let's see if we can get him in here. I think we got it. I think this is right. I'm actually using the camera to see what it looks like. You don't seem super happy about it. All right, guys, and we have one pretty unhappy camper. However, it is time for his next nap. So I will put that milk uh, in the fridge and that will be his, uh, that'll be his lunch after his nap. But let's put this guy to sleep. Let's see how hard it is to put you to sleep. Just put him down so hopefully he'll go down without a fight and hopefully he will sleep from anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half so that's a good nap for Fletcher let's see if he'll fall asleep Just like that, an hour and 40 minutes later, he is awake. So let's go get him. Let's go get him. Go get him. Wrong way. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Hey, hey bud. You happy to be awake? We 
are up and it is about time to eat. I thawed, thawed out a few more ounces. So we've got four ounces right now. So let's feed Fletcher. And once again, Olivia is able to do this, not just for a set aside time on Saturday, but instead every single day. I'm tremendously thankful and grateful for everything that she does. She doesn't even have to make a bottle. I've got to do, go through all that. I realized when I started feeding, it'd probably be a little too cold after being in the fridge. So the same way I thawed uh, the breast milk, I'm now warming it. So let's warm it up a little bit and then let's get Fletcher fed. Where do I put him? Oh, there you are. Olivia got back whilst we were feeding, and somebody is not super hungry. Hey. You did so well without your mother. You did so well. Good job. You did amazing. You did great. <laughs> anyway, that is it for our father-son adventures. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.